Right. Now, I know you lot are used to me showing you useful things to know that I find interesting. And uh, let's go a bit domesticated, shall we? How to maintain your hoover. Because hoover maintenance is very important because you know you rely on your hoover to keep your carpet all your carpet and everything um, you know well clean and you know without your hoover you'll have a dirty carpet which is a lot it ain't no good is it so I used to hoover every day when I had the mealy remember that I made a video of it uh, I used to hoover every single day with that remember that didn't have the little nylon brushes yeah just had an ordinary hoover nozzle um, on the end of it, it head thing and when I got this I hoovered after I hoovered with the mealy and I got two of these fill up with dust and dirt so it's very important to maintain your hoover and to maintain if you have the brushes maintain them keep them clean keep them free of dirt hairs and all this stuff so on this particular one on this Dyson this is a, a DC 40 the 2015 model of a DC 40 let's put the camera down there a little bit there is um, if you lay it down like that I've already got a little bit of fluff in there a little bit of a, a wrapper must have got caught up in there at some point but what you can do is at the back there's little red um, clip thingies that you can clip out but you can pull all the hairs from inside just by doing it like that but there's little clip things what you can unclip there's little indent for you to get your thumb in it is a little bit fiddly if you've got fat thumbs or fat fingers you might want to get an implement or something um, in which to you know stick in there but that provides this to open up like that and in here there is all of this all of that collects this is just because I hoover every single day and uh, you know the amount of dirt what gets accumulated up is, is, is well there's a lot of it put it that way a lot a lot of it dust and other stuff a lot of hairs getting caught up in here now you can use a tool I like to use this knife just get it out of the kitchen um, and you can use it because you don't want to damage your brush because you know it's 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 a tool isn't it you know it's it's handy so you don't want to actually damage it so don't use something that's too sharp because you might accidentally cut one of the nylon brushes off you might score the you know the the brush roller or whatever so you don't want to be doing that make sure you collect all the hairs up on a pile on the floor because then you can just put them straight in the bin save hoover and that hoovering the same ones up again and getting those clogged up again just run your knife around the edges get rid of all the fluff and dirt it's actually it amazes me how many people neglect their hoovers it's something which they you know they use on a regular basis I would like to think um, but they just neglect them and let them go into a state where they're not doing their job anymore you know they're maybe not hoovering anymore so I am aware that my face isn't in the, the shot by the way in case some of you are thinking hang on a minute he's got a funny camera angle there no I know it ain't in the shot I don't have enough space to be able to show you upright and you know the the hoover um, close and get my face in it as well unfortunately the next thing, there's no particular order with this, but you know, I'm having to show you it, so I'm showing you in this order, starting from the bottom and working the way up. So we've done the bottom, we've done the brush, we've maintained the brush. 
the next thing to do is obviously maintain your cylinder or your bin whatever you want to call it yeah remember we're working on this hoover but this maintenance applies for all hoovers yeah so if you happen to have a hoover which has a bag then empty your bag simple as that so you want to make sure that your bin is always you know a sensible level of dirt for example these cylinders here they have uh, a mark on them which if I can find the zoom button we'll have a look at you about to see here it says maximum max that is the maximum line of which you can fill it up with debris yeah let's call it debris shall we dirt dust debris whatever that's the maximum line although I have had this hoover filled right up to the top before and it was still sucking it didn't lose any suction and it was good but it just means it, it all gets clogged up around the top and around here and everywhere so you just have to be careful with that but you know empty that when it gets to the maximum line and if you've got your bag obviously when you start to lose your suction empty it because otherwise you're hoovering with no suction and it's completely pointless so let's go and empty the bin once you've emptied it you know in an ideal world you don't want to be doing all this kind of stuff on your carpet yeah you do it outside or on a bin or whatever but because I'm doing this for the video it's not a problem I can just come along and hoover up any dust or dirt which I drop afterwards but once you've emptied your bin or chucked away your bag but for now we're going to be work we're just going to assume that you have got one of these so if you've got a bag just be patient um, but you just got to check to make sure that all the seals and everything I suppose it still goes if you've got a bag if you've got a bagged vacuum when you put your new bag in you want to make sure all the seal around it's all clean because if the seal around the the door here on this one for example is whoops if this seal is uh, dirty or dusty or got anything clogged on it it won't seal it up against the, the bin itself and then you'll lose suction because obviously it'll be trying to suck through there so just make sure that it's not too dusty you know you're gonna get a bit of dirt on it but make sure that it's not too bad make sure that everything's nicely sealed there get rid of any of the dust or dirt whatever is around there like that like I said you won't be doing this indoors usually you'll be doing it outside by the bin so that you don't reintroduce all the dust and dirt back into your home after you've just cleaned it but make sure that's not got any foreign debris on it and uh, also with this particular one I don't know whether other ones are necessarily the same but you can press this little button again and press that thing there and you can take out this and get rid of that and this gets a bit clogged up let's see if we can get some that you can see it all coming out you can tap, tap that out in the bin make sure that's all nice and clean as well in the bin you want to make sure that your filter if you have um, a Dyson like this you've got a little filter which is inside there <clears throat> you know these are washable man uh, it's even got a picture of a little tap on it <coughs> this dust is flying about it's even got a picture of a tap on it man so these are washable wash them man keep them clean the cleaner you keep the filters all the filters the more you know effective the hoover is going to be when you're hoovering so wash these in some warm water I mean personally I use hot water but everyone people are going to argue and whatever blah 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 I don't care so just wash them in some nice warm water get all the dirt out leave it for 24 hours to dry you don't want to be putting a damp filter back in your hoover because you will break your hoover make sure that it's seated back in there properly after you've washed it or just take it out if it doesn't need washing put it back in like what I'm doing mine's fine don't need washing so I can put it back in again so 
uh, just make sure that it's seated properly in there um, clean some of the dust and dirt away from the top seal there so that when you put the lid back down everything's nicely sealed around the top this is going to be full of that this is going to be absolutely full of dust in there because obviously it's where all the dust collects um, once it's going around in your hoover so but you know that's the way it goes dude put your little lid back on there after you've done all your cleaning and you're happy it's all clean inside there um, if you don't have one of these Dysons you know the other models are similar if you don't if you have a different hoover altogether um, and it's uh, it's bagged or different design or whatever um, just find your filters basically I mean I don't know where they'll be because it's a different hoover but <coughs> find your filters and give them a clean but they probably won't be washable unless it's a Dyson because as far as I can understand it's only Dysons what have washable filters um, I'm probably wrong there but who knows man right this is dusty but clean this out make sure it all stays clean like I said it might you might think to yourself oh but it's a hoover it's uh, it's supposed to be dirty on the inside that, that's, that's a bit wrong really because the cleaner you keep your vacuum on the inside the cleaner it will keep your home trust me and uh, anyone that argues that well let them argue it and do whatever they want so now just slot it back together this one's slightly fiddly uh, um, what can you do man that's the way it goes do your little lid back up make sure it's all sealed as you would usually when you do your bin emptying <coughs> now get your hoover back and we'll put it there so hopefully you better see everything and make sure that this you should do this every time you change or empty your bin but make sure all your little seals are in here or you know not blocked open or whatever make sure these are all clean so they can make a nice good seal because dust will stop the seal dust will make an open seal and you know believe it or not it won't seal properly and it will get jammed and whatever you lose suction make sure you seat it properly on there um, snap it back in place dudes lovely job so we've done maintenance so far we've done the bottom you know uh, well, it depends if you're like me if you're like me I like to clean the hoover as I'm going along so I'll just get a baby wipe or a cloth and just I'll wipe it all down make it clean because you know I, I clean everything that I own regardless of what it is because I believe is it's your possession you paid for it it's something respect it and look after it and keep it clean that's what I believe in but you don't have to as long as you keep the, as long as you keep the brush clean and you keep everything in there clean your filters clean you're okay now you do have another filter in here in this little ball if uh, if you've got one of these Dyson ball vacuum thingies um, you've got another filter which is in here which you have to unscrew and it will come off there it is it's another filter just take that out and I believe you can wash them I think you can wash those filters I'm not entirely sure I think you can wash them so give that a wash but mine's fine because this Hoover is pretty much new and that filter don't get don't get particularly dirty because that's just the outbound filter so put that back on again and we'll go on to the next bit of maintenance I think that's about it for the sort of Hoover maintenance but a lot of people they do neglect their hoovers you know and other cleaning equipment which you know you paid your good hard earned money for it you might as well look after it and you want to keep your house clean so 
you know, get, look, keep the, the implement clean. I hope that helped people. And uh, keep clean, yeah?